Hello and welcome to another running vlog. Now, I'd be, um, I'd be the first to admit today that I look like a bit of a wally. You might say I look like a bit of a wally most of the time and I probably wouldn't disagree with you. The reason I have a long sleeve top on here, I have my woolly hat on, seeing as we were talking about fashion last time, but, ta -da! yeah, it's quite enough of that. I've got my legs out. For the first time this year, I am wearing shorts rather than long jogging bottoms. So yeah, I am a, I'm a weird contradiction of, uh, of fashion styles. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough. I'm going to get on with my warm up and I'll tell you all about this run, which as usual hasn't quite gone according to plan, uh, but I'll tell you all about that uh, afterwards. So see you in a bit. There we go, that 5K. Now today, I said that it hadn't quite gone according to plan. And the reason for that is because today was supposed to be a midweek run. And yet today isn't midweek. Today is Friday. I'm pretty sure it doesn't really constitute a midweek run. What happened? I planned to go out on Wednesday and it absolutely threw it down. I'm a little bit of a fair weather run. Actually, I don't mind a bit of rain, but it was absolutely chucking it down. And then Thursday wasn't much better. Now, I'm not one of these people that have to rigidly go out at the same time, although I must say that if you go out, I tend to find if you have a, a, a sort of routine, then it's, it's better, but I can be quite flexible. My weekend runs are Saturday or Sunday, and midweek, I tend to try to go Wednesday. If Wednesday can't work, then Thursday, but it just didn't work out. So today's Friday. That means a Saturday run is out. I'd like to leave a clear day. So that means that I'm gonna have to go, sorry. That means I'm gonna have to go out on Sunday and the forecast for Sunday isn't looking good. So, oh, but I'm determined that I will go out on Sunday. Simple reason being that I've set myself this March challenge. I desperately wanna do 7K on Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, anyway, I don't wanna say too much more than that. Um, I sort of had to squeeze this run in on a Friday, so I want to get back, have a shower, and then I've got to go out. So it's just bonkers. But we all have times like that, I'm sure. You know, I feel really good actually because it's um, my last one was last Sunday, so it's been five days, and uh, yeah, everything feels so much better for going out and having a run. I feel great. So let's see what the weather is like and see uh, whether I can get my 7k done on Sunday. Okay, it's a couple of days later, and it is Sunday. And here I am now out for the biggie and I've slightly changed what I'm going to do because of something that happened about five minutes before I walked out the door. So I'll tell you all about that in just a moment. But first of all, I wanted to say thank you very much for the comments to the last running vlog where I was talking about, uh, well, I had the fashion show, if you remember. I had some great comments. I'm going to put some of those comments on the screen now. Now, if you're a woman, you'll be able to carry on listening to me and read the comments. Uh, because you can do this thing, it's a, it's, you know, it's a bit mythical, it's called multitasking. If you're a bloke, you will need to Google that. And also, if you're a bloke, make use of the pause button to read the comments. So anyway, I'm going out now <laughs> for this run. Oh, oh yes, the other thing I wanted to say was that um, I said there would be a part two to that, uh, to that video where I talk gadgets. And on this channel, you may have noticed that I have a mix of running vlogs and also I do uh, tech videos. Now the problem is really, idea, in an ideal world, you would not have two different subjects on the YouTube channel. It's actually a very bad thing to do. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to make uh, a single video about uh, the gadgetry that I use for my runs. And I thought, yeah, that's good. I can actually combine the two things that I do on this channel into one video that might actually interest everybody who subscribes for once. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna combine it into a single video all about the gadgetry. So there we go. Oh, getting out of breath. So onto today's run. And uh, what I'm gonna do today, oh, I'm gonna get my breath back just for a moment. Hang on a sec. Okay, got my breath back. So for today's run, what I plan to do, if you've been watching the videos recently, you will know that uh, I went, kind of went off the boil a little bit and I've got this habit of doing that. Uh, and what happens is I set myself targets like catch the 5K or doing the 10K. And then when I finish that, I kind of just drift for a bit. So the number one piece of advice I often give to people who post comments is set yourself a target. And when you reach that target, have another target. And I should really follow my own advice. So 
Anyway, I've been trying to think, okay, in March, I wanna get back uh, as quickly as I can to 10K without going bonkers. Um, and I had a comment just before, I read a comment literally just before I came out the door today from, is it Quizzy? Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. And the comment there was, uh, that Quizzy said, oh, took four runs to get back to 10K. Did a 5K, uh, then next run a seven and a half K, then a, I don't know, a couple of 5Ks or something, and then back to 10. I mean, it was, it was a quick turnaround. And really, I sort of, that made me think because I've managed to do, uh, when I did the 10K, um, I'd never been anywhere close to 10K. I think eight was the furthest I've been, and I'd only done that once. So really, I thought, well, last week I did, weekend I did 6K. Today I'd set myself a target of going 7K. But I thought, why don't I go for seven and a half? What the hell? Why not? So today's target, seven and a half. Now, when I came out, it was sort of sunny one way, and in the distance, there was a rainbow. And I don't know about you, I believe you need sun for a rainbow, but you also need the wet stuff. So I'm hoping that it kind of stays away. It's looking a bit iffy. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna try, try, and just go for it. And just try and do seven and a half today. So I don't know how I'm gonna get on, especially as I'm so out of breath on my warm up. But uh, yeah, wish me luck. This is for you, Quizzy. <laughs> see you on the other side. There we go. With uh, big thanks to uh, Quizzy. I'm so sorry if I'm not saying that right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, seven and a half completed. So I'm pleased I read that comment before I came out because when I look back on the stats, uh, yeah, I haven't done that many runs over over 5K really since I did the 10K. I've only done one run over, till today, one run over, over 6K, which is poor, really. But glass half full, you know, a couple of years ago, I, I couldn't make it off the sofa, barely. So, you know, you've got to be, got to be positive. You've got to be positive all the time. It's really important. And yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. What I find, if you've got a distance or a time or something where you sort of get into your rhythm, I know in the Characters of 5K, they talk about that sort of toxic 10. Or was it toxic 12? I think I called it the toxic 12 in one of my videos, but I think it's a toxic 10, isn't it? Where your, your body's trying to catch up with what's going on. So it's feeding oxygen round to to realize that you're running it takes that time for your brain to react so uh, for me i would say that it's probably about 20 minutes actually maybe 4k thereabouts before i feel like i'm in a rhythm and then my rhythm is probably about 622 per kilometer something like that uh which is again is okay i'm perfectly happy with that at the moment i just want to get that get the distance get rhythm and all of that and really the time is kind of secondary really but yeah i'm pretty chuffed with that it's pretty good, seven and a half, right. That gives me a bit of a dilemma for my next run. What am I gonna do? Yeah, okay. So I thought I was gonna do six, seven, maybe eight, nine, you know, do it over a number of weeks, but this this really puts the cat amongst the pigeons, whatever the, whatever the phrase is. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I'll have to think about that. What should I do next? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Because as I said earlier, if you were expecting this to be part two, where I talk gadgets, I'm gonna put that all into one video. So if you haven't subscribed, then please do, because it's the likes and the subscribes that make me wanna make the content. And of course, I love the comments, so please keep those coming, and I try to reply to every single one. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.